Hello, just Jamie here. So we got a brand new update for Retroback, which is uh, changing to 5.2. So a lot of people used to watch my tutorial on how to set Retroback up. Might be interested in watching this one. You're going to get a lot of fixes. You're going to get some updates to cores and emulators and new features to emulators and you know different bits and pieces so to update from your current version to this latest release all you're going to do is boot up retrobat and if you follow my tutorial you might want to press start to get you to the menu or if you use the keyboard for this just simply press enter if you scroll down to updates and downloads and we need to Make sure check for updates is on all the time, I recommend that. And make sure update type is set to stable. Uh, I wouldn't choose beta because that can sometimes mess things up. So once these are set and this is on stable, all you're going to do is hit start update. And I just want to say thanks to Retrobat for checking out my tutorial the other day. That's really nice of you to say what a great tutorial it was. So anyway, once we're here, what we're going to do is just simply press yes. And this will start the update. As you can see in the top right corner, it's now updating. So this is going to take a little while. It's going to update and then it's going to extract the contents into your installation folder. So we got a lot of different fixes for this. Over time, cores get updated with new features, that type of thing. So what Retrobat does is put these implementations into the system itself. We also got additional cores added to Retrobat V5.2 such as Jaguar CD emulation with Big P MU. We've got a new Commodore PET core. We've got a new Commodore Plus 4 core. We've even got an Atari XE game system core included. Acorn Archimedes is now supported under Retrobat, which is pretty cool. And we've got new features for uh, emulators such as RPCSS3 and PCSX2, which is PS3 and PS2. There's Techno Parrot features included, XMU, which is Xbox, and some more fixes included in this update is Yuzu. Uh, so, Yuzu is obviously a Nintendo Switch emulator, so there's a lot of bug fixes on that one as well. So, if you want to check out which fixes and changes this is, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out for yourself. I always recommend updating Retrobat as long as it's stable versions. It. So once your update is finished, you'll get a little pop-up saying you need to quit and restart. So just follow the instructions, which is pretty straightforward. So once you quit, you'll then see a window, as you can see. So let it do a thing, and this shouldn't take too much longer. And that's it. So once that's finished updating, you will then boot back into Retrobat. So uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any further questions on emulation videos in general that I cover, go over to Patreon or buy me a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching.